Missing out on qualification for the Euro 2008 Championships was a bitter blow for the fans of one particular footballing nation. But it was England's business players who were kicked where it really hurts, on the balance sheet. Analysts from Deloitte recently valued the European football market at over $29 billion. So who will be hardest hit by England's own goal this summer? The financial impact is, is going to be more felt by the sort of, you know, pubs and clubs, the, the sort of merchandising or, or the supermarkets, you know, the, the fallout of, of not having any, any interest and, and the, the, the fans not, um, not sort of maybe spending as much on, in those areas. Pubs and bars are on the front line. A sports pub like West London's Barley Mo would have had around a thousand customers in on a busy England night with an average nightly take of $10,000, meaning the total sum for the tournament will be more than half. Over the course of the event and, and, the, and the weather, we're probably looking at about gross between seventy dollars to $80,000 with England not being in the tournament. But it is in the world of merchandising where the big money is to be made, or rather lost. Me, along with my fellow FA licensees, uh, are losing sales that equate to 120 to 130 million dollars at retail selling prices. However, you've got to remember that what we do pours into insignificance if you look at what is sold in replica kits, and you can multiply those figures by a factor of three and a half to four. So, how much did England's failure hurt you? My commitment contractually to the FA is well in excess of a million dollars over a four-year period. So as much as it's a bitter blow for me as an England fan, it's a bigger blow for me that I've got a lot of money at risk and I need desperately for England to qualify for the World Cup. Otherwise, I have no chance of recouping my investment. England flag, sir. Going cheap. The biggest outlet for these products would have been the major supermarkets, whose shortfall could run into tens of millions of dollars. Not only do they have holes in their budget, but also on their shelves. Similarly, ITV will have missed out on around $20 million in lost advertising revenue. Not only that, the games attract an elusive audience profile. Football brings in a very predictable audience, and it's a highly desirable one from our point of view. Um, there are always ABC One men in any audience you care to mention. It's the, the proportion of them relative to the other viewers which is the important thing for us, and it's very difficult to substitute. If there is no big footfall on commercial television, there aren't really many other comparable programmes that we can, we can slot into with anything like that efficiency. And, although missing a key territory like England may seem disastrous domestically, it does not seem to affect key sponsors, as the tournament now has a truly global reach. Of course, if your own, if your own country is not there, it will have an impact, but it over the tournament, I think when you get up to the semi-finals uh, or the finals, it, it will, football creates that kind of passion that people will follow. <laughs> it has a lot, a lot of interest around the world. We see Latin America picking that up, Asia Pacific, and it allows us really to, to work with our merchants and our banks to, to run promotions, to engage with the fans, deliver them priceless moments. So, whilst English football fans hang their heads, if the nation does not want to miss out on the even bigger economic boost of the 2010 World Cup, it had better get its sporting house in order and the ball in the back of the net.